deer are bred at deer farms to be released in here. Absolutely. We don't release deer, in my knowledge, on the next mm -hmm. It says in the conservation department website for Springfield that you guys have gotten deer in the, in the past from deer farms because you guys are concerned about the chronic voice disease that originates in these deer farms. Is that not true? That's not correct. That's what was on the conservation website. So you got incorrect information on your website? I don't believe that would be. I've never read that on our website. Mm -hmm. How much do the people have to pay to hunt from there? Nothing. So hunting licenses are free here? In well, no, they have, to, they have to get a managed hunting license. Managed yes. hunting license. But it actually is. Prove it. Prove it. Now, there is facts to back up that as the resources become more available to deer as you shoot them off, they're going to migrate into that area and cause more of a population concern. Not to mention, if you're concerned about starving of deer, if you kill the strongest you know, buck in the herd, what does that do to like the newborns that season? They will die of starvation that winter. Am I right? So like how is starvation um, cured by hunting? I would like to know how you guys think that starvation is cured by hunting. That's what I would like. Yeah, what have you Contraception or sterilization, um, that that's really costly. That's about $1,800 per animal. Yeah, it costs Jersey, money. they're currently implementing that and they have huge success with it. Sorry. Well, I know since USDA <laughs> helps fund your guys' controlled hunts. Like, I know they you don't guys help USDA. I mean, there's give you guys federal money. taxes and stuff through but every state agency receives that. Um, they help, but the, the please admit though that those funds go specifically to stimulate these controlled hunts because with these controlled hunts, you guys try to get the, you know, uh, not so conventional hunters such as females, such as children, so that way you guys yeah. can boost your Start guys' hunting licenses in the future. That way you guys, because studies show, and I know you know this, or whoever does the marketing for your conservation knows that after you have your first kill, for hunting, you're going to be more enticed to hunt in the future, mm -hmm. buy more hunting yeah. licenses. It's a I recruiting thing guys here. On your revenue, but I feel like there's other ways that you could generate funds for a conservation center other than issuing a hunting license. I mean, hunting's a tradition in Missouri. There um, we go, the tradition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's that is, tradition yeah. doesn't mean that it should keep going. That it's the right thing either. Tradition Just because we've always done that doesn't mean, mean it's right. right now, battery. But then, <laughs> Right they speechless. also say Missouri, <laughs> Arkansas is backwards. So I mean, maybe it's time to move forwards. You know, yeah, if you go to other so states. It it's a tradition. Well, let's move it's forward. Can I ask you a quick question? So, what's the doe to deer ratio? Doe to buck ratio here? I don't know. I'm not sure if you have city names, so I don't know. No, no, like for hunting here. How many does do you have to shoot before a buck? You guys don't have any rules in place for that. So, how is that population control? I don't know what you're talking about as far as the doe ratio on that. I don't know. I'm out of city, so I don't know. So do you have a doe to buck ratio that you guys go on inside the conservation center? Here? Yeah, for the hunt. Um, Whenever I do my game camera surveys in, in the winter, it's... I don't, I don't no, have for, those numbers off the for top hunting, of for hunting. What's the doe to buck ratio? Because it, you said it's population control, right? Right. So, so there has to be a doe to buck ratio set in place. It is a requirement for the hunters to harvest an antlerless animal before they are even allowed to pursue an antlered animal. Because that is oh, right. No, no, we are no. looking at as a population factor. Right. We are wanting to take the antlerless animals out of the population just to oh, decrease the increase or breeding or fawning in the spring. So, so what do you take the antlers animals out? That's our goal, yes. Why is everyone trying to compete for like this most number of points on the antlers and everything? Well, and here we're not using this as a hunting opportunity. We're trying to utilize it as a management tool in Springfield's urban deer management program. Um, so that's why it's a requirement to take out an antler list before they're even able, allowed or able to pursue an antlered animal. Last uh, year yeah. on the news, that 15 year old girl was talking about how many points were on her buck that she just killed. She it's the first one she ever shot. That's said, right, but she you. did harvest her doe. She no, no, she did not. She was her first and, shot. And I was not there for oh. the interview. <laughs> Excuses. Um, yeah. it, it was up to the news leader. That Yeah, I yeah, think okay. Not that they would take um, out of the all the shots taken, only fifty percent would die. 
No, uh, for the, for the bow hunting, no, we do have the sources for that. That um, when you shoot a deer with a bow, only fifty percent of the time it dies, and it actually suffers for more than two days. That no, that's a fact. No, we do have the sources for that. If you like. Pictures where deer had a bow right through the head, yep. running around and stuff. You know, that's like, why is there no professionals in there doing that hunt to for population control and just citizens? Because I, I really don't get the point. Sharp shooting versus bow and arrow. So I mean, professional. So it'd be then. quick because, without suffering. Because if we were going to use sharpshooting, we would be having to use a, a projectile weapon that is not allowed under the Springfield City Ordinance. Of you could use discharging professional a firearm. Yeah. 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 Like to say, what, what is a professional? But not oh, a somebody somebody that's exactly not a child. A Someone that's not a, a 13 year old girl. Well, a crossbow would probably be more effective than bow and arrow. And, Why are you um, okay with that? <laughs> not okay with we don't oh, want to see them suffering. It's, I just don't think it's a, a, a sincere <laughs> argument, you know. And what's not something? Not this. Uh, something I wanted to ask you. You said this. Uh, this, uh, you know, the, the population. We needs do to be appreciate you guys coming down. He's, trying to, He's, He's trying, trying to talk. He's trying to talk. Well, he uh, ran out of answers, that's why he has nothing to Let him talk! You want to protest, you can protest over there. Well, wait, I'm just asking questions. You want to go over there? You go up the top side. Why can't he answer, ask a question? One question, and we'll leave. So, you said you state law. So, why don't we just go ahead and... It's about money. Let you guys go back up there. We use your prayer sessions, we're going to call here soon. So you can contact, because you're not really, you're not doing anything right here, because you're not going to change anybody's mind. Well, we asked the question of the people that actually set it up. You know, I mean, I mean, obviously you couldn't answer our questions, so maybe we can ask quite a question. Well, did, did they answer your questions? No, I, I, I still have a question for this gentleman here. Do we answer your questions? I, I have a question for him here. Let's go ahead and uh, can I ask you one more question?